All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, what's this? Nice, but you're gonna run into so many issues because you've hard coded so much. Why not work on the back end first? Hmm, that makes sense. We need to create a database and there's a really easy solution to this and it's called Firebase. But the thing is that Firebase takes your information and stores it somewhere else in the cloud. And this is great if we're talking about large files like images or videos, because that means it doesn't take up space on your specific device. But in order to access your information, you need to sign up to have an account so that Firebase knows to send your information to you and not to someone else. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally think that needing to sign up for an account is annoying. I don't want that. Plus, this is a simple time tracking app, so we don't really need to store that much data. It won't take up that much space on the device, which means that we could potentially store it locally on the device. And this means that you, the user, won't need to sign up for an account. The only problem is, I don't know how to do that. I'm trying to figure out how to quickly filter through the data and like the best way to structure everything so that we can filter through it. The thing is I want the load times to be quick within the app. So I don't want to have to like go through and like, okay, we're going to load a thousand time entries when all we need is just like three time entries. Um, but I think maybe if the project has a list of the tasks, then... Now this is a classic situation in programming. I'm trying to force fit the wrong solution onto a problem. Like trying to put on a shoe that's five sizes too small, it just won't fit. And due to my personal lack of expertise, that is what I didn't know I was dealing with here. And so, as you can tell by my super productive highlighting here of words, I'm not really getting anywhere. Okay, so again, it's 1 p.m. right now, and I'm getting really hungry, which makes this sort of stuff. I'm just thinking about, like, how do I structure this, and what are the edge cases, and how do I make it as scalable as possible without actually having to have, like, a proper database. Um, it's uh, a bit of a struggle right now, so I'm, uh, I'll go to the gym and then come back to it. So I'm back from the gym and it's 5 p.m. right now and we're going to do another two hour session. What I did was I asked a question on Instagram in my story just to see if anyone else has some recommendations or ideas for how to structure the JSON data. But I think the most useful thing right now is to build a database based on what I think is the optimal structure at this point and then basically learn as I go. I think that's going to be the best way for me to actually make progress instead of just sitting and thinking about how to make progress, if that makes sense. So I basically just spent the rest of the day digging myself deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole of trying to use JSON for the database. Now, I should have realized somewhere around this point that I was on the wrong track because anytime you're writing an if statement that looks like this, you're probably onto the wrong thing. Now all of a sudden I'm getting this error. So basically here are, is what a task list looks like. And here's what a time entries list looks like. 
And here's what a project list looks like. For the task list, it worked perfectly. For the project list, it worked perfectly. And then all of a sudden for the time entries list, it is giving me this error. Tell me where the difference is between all of these things. I feel like it's one of those things where you just like, you're coding and everything's working and you add a print statement and all of a sudden the code breaks and it's like, how on earth did it break because I added a print statement? But it's 7 p.m. right now and I think it's time to make some dinner and call it a day here. Then I just had dinner and uh, got started on my evening routine as it looks right now, which consists of flawlessly pronouncing. Si, yo quiero si, yo quiero beber más vino. Spanish words in Duolingo. Brushing my teeth and then opening up the window so that I can cool down the bed before I go to sleep. And then I do a 10 minute meditation using Sam Harris's app called Waking Up. So as you get comfortable in your seat, I keep your eyes open and just gaze into space. It doesn't matter what you're looking at. Could be your desk. And then I go to bed and I read on my Kindle until I fall asleep. All right, so this is the next day and uh, I woke up today, just checked my messages on Instagram and my inbox was basically full from the story that I posted yesterday, asking you guys to help me uh, figure out how to create the database and how to use JSON to do it. And I got a lot of messages saying, use a database, use SQL, use Mongo database, just blah, 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 blah. And it turns out you can actually use SQL in Flutter. I didn't know that. So that's why I've been sitting here like trying to figure out how to use JSON uh, files as my database. But it turns out you can use SQL. So that's what I'm going to get started on today. And that is what you guys will see in the next video. I'm going to get started on that right now and post it as soon as I'm done with it. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you enjoy this little series that I'm creating. All right, so I have this idea for a shot that I want to try to get that I will open up the curtains and then it will cut to a drone shot outside uh, where you'll see the window from the outside and then maybe like the drone will fly away or something. Uh, I haven't flown a drone in a really long time and I will need to fly out through one of these tiny windows with the drone and uh, I will have to land it and start it on the bed here. <laughs> this is a high investment shot uh, for the opening of this video. All right, we have to be quick now. Holy shit, that was intense. Fuck. So I had to run to my balcony here and uh, then basically lift it up because it was like about to land on some car almost. Fly it over here while it was like beep, beep, beep. I have to land. Anyway, I hope we got the shot. We'll see.